I'm going to share with you today how you can create business cards like these ones or postcards like these ones and even stickers like these ones using Adobe Express and Moo. So I'm going to create some stickers, but before I start creating it in Adobe Express, I want to make sure I have the right dimensions. So I'm going to go to Moo.com and I want to grab the dimensions for the round stickers and I'm looking at the bleed area because you want to make sure you have the bleed area. So it was 1.57 by 1.57 in height because it's a square. Then I'm going to click on next. It's going to load my blank canvas and I don't want to work from one of the templates. What I want to do is actually upload a photo. So to make sure that I am aligning my graphics, I'm looking through all my files and I am going to upload the template that gives you some guides. Now I'm going to stretch this over so it fits my entire post area or my entire design area. And this is only just to guide me in the placement of my sticker. And I'm gonna make sure it kind of extends all the way out so that I know where my bleed area is. And this is just super helpful for you to be able to create your stickers and make sure nothing gets cropped in a weird way. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my libraries and access some of these background designs that I've already added. So I'm looking at my assets. I'm gonna scroll down to see if I can find that background image that I created. That here we go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this to fit the entire area so that it bleeds off. So essentially the image goes off the board. And now I'm gonna adjust my layers so that I can see the template with the guide and I'm going to adjust the opacity. Again, this is just for a guide purpose. That way I know how to align my content. Now, all I want is a logo. So I'm going to add one of my logos and align it inside the sticker. So I added one of my logos just to test it out and see how this one looks. And this is where the guide is super helpful because I know where I need to place my image before it gets cropped. So there's a little safe space, which is the dash or dotted line that you see from the guide from Moo. So this is super helpful. So this is looking good, except I'm not too happy with the contrast behind one of my logo or brand mark variations and the background. So I'm going to replace it. I'm going to select it and I'll see my logo variations pop on the left and this just looks so much better. And this is very important as you guys are designing stickers or your content. Now I'm ready to upload my content. So I'm going to go onto Moo and select the same dimensions, upload a full design. You can even add 52 different designs for your covers, which is pretty awesome. And there is my design. Well, let's upload another different sticker. So let's go in and upload another version. So I had duplicated my design. Now all I need to do is download this. However, what you want to make sure is you download it as a PDF and not a PNG Then start download. And that is the file that you want to upload to move. This is for print specs so that you have the best quality possible. Now let's talk about creating a business card. So for the business card, I started with the same white template on the background, and I'm just going to add a few of my assets from my libraries in Adobe Express to create my business card. I'm going to speed this up a little bit for you, but I'm adding a shape to create more of an element for the bottom of my business card. And I'm going to arrange this real quick changes to my brand color and then I'm going to start arranging some of my text and adding it in. I'm going to speed this up for you so that you can still see the process but at a much faster pace. Here I'm just adding my text and modifying the font so that it is on brand and I am changing out the colors so that it, there is some visual hierarchy and I'm going to make a few more tweaks before I'm ready to save it as a PDF so it's ready for print. Now my file is ready and I just go to download and download as a PDF and we're ready. 
do a spot UV. This is really great for patterns as an overlay. You just have to make sure that your pattern is a black and white version. So I uploaded one of my patterns that I designed in Illustrator and I brought it into Adobe Express. Now all I did was add a shape on top so that it acts like a cutout. So anything that shows as white is not going to have that UV coating. And you'll see how that looks like on the final print. So I'm ready to upload my files and I want to upload the back area. I'm going to select one of the designs that I used and this, here we go. I'm going to click on open and it uploads it into the Moose system. Now it's in the system here. We could see the design, but remember that spot gloss that I had showed you how to create? We're going to go ahead and upload that. So I uploaded this as a black and white PDF and I'm going to select that. And now you can see in the preview, it shows us kind of pink. So when you kind of hover over, you could see how that's going to look like once it's printed. And now all I need to do is wait for the prints to arrive from the printer. So my order has arrived. I am obsessed with the color quality and how the designs came out. This is just crisp, beautiful, bold. What I loved about being able to design things with Moo was that I was able to use Adobe Express on my designs and have different covers or essentially different backs for my business cards. The front side of the business card stayed the same. And I also used different designs that I had for some postcards. So I'm actually using this postcard slash mini poster. It has the silver foil effect, which is just stunning, stunning, stunning. And I'm gonna try to see make sure I can get that focus for you guys. And on the back side, I went into Adobe Express and I created this nice little postcard so it has a double purpose i can use it to write notes for my clients send it as a postcard and they don't throw this away because they can use this and keep this as decoration in their office or their home so now you can create content with adobe express download it and upload it to move so that you can get printed quality content like this postcards business cards stickers you name it just let your creativity unleash and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that way you can stay connected with me and learn when I post the next video.